Hi guys, and welcome to part 36 of the Avondale Household Let's Play, and surprise! <laughs> we are in a brand new city. Okay, so as you guys know, I've been kind of asking y'all around about, you know, what kind of cities do y'all recommend for, um, because I have been planning to move these guys out for a while without planning to split up the family necessarily. So you guys, um, recommended several, but the one that really caught my eye was one that S Magazine recommended, which was this city, and it's huge and it's called Saint Clair and holy hell I didn't even see this part of the city that's how huge this city is it's huge I'm a little worried that I'm gonna lag because it's so big but it shouldn't be too bad I use story progression to populate the town so the town is fully populated Randall is here and so is Nathaniel though he's not home um, they're both in this city but they're living elsewhere obviously and we are living in this very, very interesting house. It was kind of tough for me to find a three bedroom, you know, house on their budget. They didn't really have that much money. They had about 80,000, but you know, that's not that much for a nice spacious house for um, all of these Sims. But I did find this one. It's a really interesting house. It's a town, like kind of like a town home, row home type of house. There's four stories, I believe. So let me show you each of the stories. This is the top story. By the way, um, I believe this town is made by Aw Sims. And if you just look up Sims 3 St. Clair, you'll find this town. That's the name of this town. And um, I don't, I know there's the, the houses in this town are a mixture of different um, people working to make it. So I can't really give credit where it's due because I didn't really look as to who exactly did what. But obviously I didn't make this house I mean hello I don't build <laughs> but um this is the top floor and this is the master bedroom master suite thing and this obviously is going to be um Charisse and Greg's room and it is just it's very lovely and as you can see all of the floors and the um uh uh, rooms are about this size it's a teeny tiny house but as somebody who used to live in Baltimore City who knows what row homes are about this takes me back <laughs> this takes me back massively um, so yeah this I love this of course usually row homes are a little deeper but um, it's it's kind of the same idea so this is the top floor and there's a little balcony out here which is gorgeous and this is just gonna kind of be Greg and Charisse's little suite and then down a the floor we have two more bedrooms this is obviously going to be Charlotte's bedroom and I love it I did decorate it a little bit more than it originally was originally it was just completely black and white and gray I did throw in pops of red because I figured oh I forgot to get rid of this I forgot to get rid of this because I figured my girl would want some pops of colors in here. We've got a couple books and magazines strewn about. Then over here we have the kids room which is obviously going to be um, um, Drew's room. It's a little too kitty for my liking at the moment so what I am going to do is get rid of some of these things and I do like the color scheme. I think the color scheme is just fine um, but I'm going to get rid of that and probably put in some um, some posters and things of the like like we got a poster here or uh, maybe like this and um, I might even put a TV a small TV in here for him to kind of play games with um, that actually would make a lot of sense and of course there's room if we wanted to have another child there's room for that because we could just throw in a bunk bed here and there you go um, Let's see, let me put a TV in here really quick. As you guys see, I decorate as I go along. <laughs> That's just what my does. It happens. So I'm gonna put that there because we do have the cat toy right here, so I want there to be enough room. And then I will put a, maybe like a small, really small gaming console right there. That should do it, right? So that he has a little bit of uh, some games to play on a teeny tiny TV there. And, um, then this is the uh, kind of living floor, I suppose you could say. It's um, It's got a library area. We got a computer here, 
a little room to entertain if we want to, but not much room at all. Then the next floor is the kitchen and dining room, which is where everybody's actually chilling right now. I, it's very modern. It's, there's a lot of modernization to this house, and I really, really, really like it. It's very cute. Um, we've got the cat bowl here, of course, and we've got Drew over here cleaning some stuff up, and then the bottom floor is pretty much empty. Um, I think this is just kind of like a common area. I don't even know if we can really add anything down here. I don't know if I would really want to either, but we'll see about it. We'll see if maybe I can turn this into more of a living space since there is no connection to the um, adjacent um, houses and apartments. So that is a little run through the house. It's it's different. You know, we obviously aren't going to stay here forever. Um, I think Greg and Charisse can live here happily. But um, obviously with Charlotte, we're going to be moving out eventually. So I just want to run you through the house really quick, and then we can jump straight back into the LP, which I'm really excited about. I know this was kind of like a shotgun, you know, knee-jerk decision to kind of move to a brand new town, but I'm really, really, really excited about it. And this town is gorgeous. This town is huge, freaking mongous. I'm so excited about living here with you guys and it's just so beautiful like you've got all of this um, all of this is wide open you can see straight down to the floors below and uh, <laughs> I love it <laughs> I love it so damn much okay so I'm gonna go ahead and send We've been here for a little while because um, I had to go ahead and get the town populated, which takes a little bit of time. So we have been here for a hot minute. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and send Drew to Betty Bye as well. Although quickly, I want to make sure that this works really quick. That um, It sure does. Yep, it works. Perfection. Because um, this is kind of like a compact type of thing, and I wasn't sure if it was gonna, it was gonna really work. So I'm gonna go ahead and send my boy to sleep. And guys, we will go ahead and skip past some sleeping, and we'll continue when somebody wakes up. Alrighty, y'all, we are back, and Charlotte is the first to roll out of bed this morning. And I am getting a little bit of lag, so um, please forgive me. I'm not sure if that has to do with the town, or if that has to do with the snow, or what's going on, but. It's not too, but too, 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 too bad. Um, ooh, what is this? Actually, what the hell is this? Oh, it's the library. <gasps> we live right across the street from the library. That's perfect. That is so perfect. I love this library. Holy hell, it's so cute. You guys, I just, I, I love getting these new towns because it really gets to showcase the creativity and just the pure skill that some people have. And it's got like a kids area too. Like how amazing is this? Holy crap. And I can't even see it fully, but I definitely want to go exploring. <laughs> um nothing's open just yet. So we might just spend some time with Charlotte for a couple minutes just um, getting ready for my girl's day. That is one downside to this house. There's literally no room at all anywhere on this lot for her to play the guitar. So I actually have to leave home in order. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Greg. No. No, no, no. So I'm going <laughs> to... I'm actually going to go ahead and get him to take a bath really quick because he needs to take on the bath. I love this. Look how romantic it is. It's got all these little, you know, um, strategically placed candles. It is so cute. Like, I'm in love, love, love with that. That is amazing to me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get Charisse to maybe eat some leftovers for breakfast. Charlotte should be finishing up in the shower uh, any moment now. And uh, it looks like Timon's just kind of chilling out. We'll get him to play with this a little bit and see if he can play with that without a problem. He sure can, so I've got my spacing just fine. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and explore the town a little bit. First things first, I think we'll go ahead and visit this coffee house. 
Um, it looks like it's a mainly outdoor coffee house from what I can tell. Um, let's go see. Okay, there's been a snow day. Oh, it's not. <gasps> Cute. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is a fancy ass looking coffee house. Oh my god, excuse my French. Um, oh, and this town allows for singer careers. Cool. Oh my gosh, I would love <laughs> I would love for the Zoras to be here, but we're not moving the Zoras any day or more. Good Lord Jesus. Um, so we'll go ahead and order some coffee, obviously. Um Wait, are you a coffee person or or no? I don't. I don't get it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to um, buy a coffee bar and put it there. Maybe they just didn't include it for some reason, but try something else. We'll do a light chai with chocolate sprinkles. That sounds delicious, actually. Sounds amazeballs. Um, very lovely, so we don't actually have to buy the stuff, which is kind of cool. I'm assuming this is the proprietor. It is. What the hell is up with your hair, dude? Good lord Jesus. <laughs> Always find the weirdest hairstyles. So, she's doing super good. I'm wondering when or how we're going to break up with Nathaniel. I feel like it needs to happen. It just hasn't yet. <laughs> I know you guys are feeling it too. Like, it's time time to call it a day with Nathaniel. Um, let's see, where else can we explore? We've got a whole bunch of other stuff over here to check out. Uh, looks like we have an internet cafe, senior clean, <laughs> pets, 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 Cherry Lane Salon. We've got the school over here, which is tiny. Holy crap. It's like an old, old, old fashioned school over here. Is that the only school in the whole place? Because that is tiny. Holy hell, that's little. Um, What do we have over here? We've got a bookstore. We've got a couple bookstores. Uh, Sutton. I don't know who Sutton is. Oh, we've got another community school. Okay, so we've got two schools. St. Peter's Chapel. Ooh, can we get married there? Oh, that seems cool. Let's go see. Let's go see, my friends. Okay. Let's check out this St. Mary's Chapel. St. Peter's or St. Mary's, I don't remember. Okay, so let's go inside. Um, you can get, wow, this is a nice chapel. You can have a, oh my gosh, this is a perfect wedding venue. How beautiful is this, you guys? Oh my goodness gracious, can we go behind the bar here? Yeah, you can. I just want to make sure that was accessible. Oh my god, this town is so much to explore. You guys should definitely check out this town, but of course, you know, as the person who suggested it to me mentioned, this is not a great town for people with low-end graphics. It's v because it's a absolutely jive freaking enormous town. It's going to be very graphics intensive and it's going to slow down your game a little bit. Even on my graphics, it is slowing me down a teeny tiny tiny bit, but Nothing that's not manageable right now. Um, what time do we have work? We have work in seven hours, but we have time to go and grab something to eat if there's a diner anywhere. What is this? This is a club? Interesting. And then we've got a park over there. Um, is there anywhere to eat? I feel like there should be a diner somewhere. We've got a fish and shack. Oh goodness, look at this windy road up that hill. Um, I feel like there should be somewhere to eat. We have a diner over here and a bistro over here. Okay, so the diner's over here, so we're gonna eat here alone. We'll go ahead and pay for some food. Why not? So we got another little kind of strip mall thing going on over here. What is this? Retour Rotunda. What is that? Tell me more. Oh, it's just a gazebo, it looks like. Nothing too terribly fancy. I love, I love, I love, I love everything though. It's so cute. So I'm assuming this is the diner. Um, so we're gonna eat here. And then we got like a little coffee shop right adjacent to it. Very cute, very cute. And then we've got the grocery or the bookstore over here. 
and another bookstore right next to it. And then what is this? This is a house. Oh, these are two houses. So we've got two households here. Um, and then what is this? Is this another household? This is an empty house. Nobody lives here. Very cool. Um, it's really nice. We got lots and lots and lots of houses over here. It's a craft household. Nobody lives here. So we've got a few open homes. Um, so here's the law enforcement center. So the police station, basically. And um, we've got more kind of. I can totally see like Baltimore styles here. Like this looks so familiar to me, guys. You don't even know. You don't even know. Um, very cool. Very cool. Okay, so we're done eating, just about. And what is my what is my man Drew doing? Uh, he's just reading in the kitchen. Charisse is at work. Greg needs to find some work, actually. And uh, when does he start working is a good freaking question. We should look online, investigator, search for investigator case. Looks like the cat is just singing along, having a good old damn time. God, I love this cat, he's so cute. Um, Charlotte is building a snowman, okay. You do you, boo boo, you do you. Um, okay, so, um, 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 I don't even know what exactly we can get into doing right now. We could, if Nathaniel's home, we could visit him. Interview Nathaniel Wright. What a karinky dink. Um, where the hell is he? Is he home? Like, what's going on? I haven't seen him home since I moved him in, which makes me think he is, uh, there's something going on, like he's lagged out or something. This is a really nice apartment though. I'm a little sad that I actually gave it to him simply because it's so nice and I would love to move my girl in there. Where's, she, where's he going? Oh, he's a book merchant. Fabulous, I should have gotten him an actual job while I have a chance. Damn it. Um, <laughs> oopsies. So yeah, all of these townhomes are completely unfurnished, but there are a few homes that are furnished, just so you know, in this town. So it's not all a lost cause, furnishings-wise. Um, bring a painting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No thanks. This, I believe, is furnished, but I think somebody's living here now. Are they home? You should go visit them. Say hi. What's going on? How you doing? <laughs> I mean... We don't have any damn thing better to do, so. Might as well. Climb the stairs, Charlotte. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, okay, okay. We need to go down a level here. Are we going to be invited inside? Yes, no, maybe so. I'll take that as a no. Okay, well, we need to go to work anyway, so we might as well just go to work and meet musicians. Maybe we'll have some co-workers who will be cool to hang out with. Sharice is heading home right now. I'm ready for winter to be over. I do not care for winter at freaking all. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get a shower taken because she's a little bit stinky. Getting a little bit grungy up in here. And Charlotte is at work, should be meeting her fellow musicians as we speak. Her boss is uh, Ron Castle. Very interesting. Um, and Drew, what are you doing, Mr. Drew? Oh, you mopping up. Oh, good for you. What a good kid. You're such a good kid, kiddo. Okay, so we'll have him... I kind of want to have him meet some people, so maybe we'll just... Ooh, he wants to join... Sure, join a book club. Um, we'll have him chat with somebody. Try to get him to meet some folks. Cause Lord knows he needs to. I don't know how he keeps improving his piano skill. Like what is going on? He's not playing piano, guys. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on there, but. Alright. <laughs> 
So I think we'll have Charisse go ahead and serve something new for lunch. Um, we'll have her do some organic grilled cheese. Speaking of which, guys, that is probably what I'm eating for lunch today. Because I am feeling me some grilled cheese up on here. Mm -hmm. It is real. So we're having her meet her musicians. Has she met anybody yet? Like, does she actually work with anybody is kind of what I want to know. Um, he's a location merchant. Well, maybe that can kind of be the downfall of their relationship, you know? I mean, obviously, they don't have the strongest feelings for each other anyway, but maybe the kind of thing that broke the camel's back was just that he was too busy all the time to spend time with her and with her with his job and everything else, so that maybe had a lot to do with it. Have you met anybody yet? Damn! Uh, need to meet some people. I mean, we've met other people, just nobody at our actual job, <laughs> which is depressing. I think I may need to turn some of the weather off because I feel like with the lag of just the city alone, I can't deal with the weather. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to disable rain and snow and we'll do fog. We'll do fog. Um, I want to, I want to put, I want to put winter a little shorter and fall a little shorter. There we go. Summer is my favorite, so I like to make summer longer. <laughs> Sorry! I can't help it. Okay, so they... Ooh, she has a nice stove. This place is just kind of really decked out, and it's really cute. Love, love the decor. It's just beautiful. She made some grilled cheese and somehow managed to burn them. I don't know how, because she is a fabulous cook. So I don't know how exactly that happened, but... We will let it slip. This time we'll just we'll just ignore it and pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> so well, let's go ahead and have Greg head on over to interview Nathaniel. Oh, he was playing with Drew. That's so cute. They were having a good old time. Come on, baby. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's go, boo boo. Let's go. So it's finally stopped snowing, thank heavens. Ooh, I didn't even notice we had a giant lake over here. This is beautiful. So during the summer, they'll have plenty to do in the water and all of that good stuff. So my man should be right now heading on over to Nathaniel's. And has my girl met any fellow musicians yet? Nope. Still hasn't met any musicians. So I'm thinking we're going to just have her study music theory. I don't know. I don't even know if she has any band members come to think of it, so. I don't know what we're gonna do there, but hopefully we'll be able to interview Nathaniel very quickly, all the way over on the other side of the damn city. Ooh, who's this, who's this, who's this? She looks pretty. Hello, madam. What's your name? Shauna Mora. Interesting. You're a very strange looking lady, aren't you? Okay. Oh, I like this little bookstore. How cute. It looks very uh, uh, eccentric, kind of like, like an Asian bookstore or something. Like you would expect an Asian bookstore to look like. <laughs> um, with all the lanterns and stuff. So we're interviewing him. Snoop for clues at the gym. We've done this one before. You guys know all about this. Um... Let's see. Is there anything we can actually do here? Because I, I like checking out all these different venues. They're always fun. And um, what's over here? Visit the local. The local what? Exactly. Oh, it's kind of like... Ooh, this is very vampy and dark and mysterious. How freaking cool is this place, you guys? This, like, reminds me of a pub like a um an irish pub you know i just love checking out all this cool stuff with you guys so it's happy hour so let's go ahead and get greg to grab himself a, a fancy drink a fancy schmancy drink is my girl off of work yet not quite let's have her try and meet some more musicians and see if we ever manage to um so greg is getting a drink go ahead and check on sharice How's my main lady doing? 
Well, as she's just chilling out, having a good old time in her lovely town home. But I think it's time for her to go ahead and head to Betty Bye's. I'm going to send her on upstairs to get some sleep. And I think, who did who just got paid or who just lost money or something? I think we'll have mm, Senor here. Um, oh, is he neat? Because he keeps cleaning crap. I mean, good for you, baby, but Lord Jesus, you don't have to. Um, I think we'll have him eat some food, and then we'll probably send him to sleep as well. Finally, we met somebody at work. Let's see what he looks like. We've met Jared Lindsay. Jared Lindsay. I'm very... Mm, I don't know how I feel about him, but there might be potential. This guy looks kind of cool. His name is Chaim Noyes. And he's a part of like a really big family, but <clears throat> I'm kind of curious to see how he will fare. Maybe we can meet up with him at some point. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot more lag. <laughs> a lot more lag with, um, with this town, but it's understandable. It also may have something to do with... Um, the snow on the ground and people routing and stuff like that. I may need to enable error trap and stuff like that just to kind of help out with that. It kind of feels like Cetra did, but it's been a hot minute since I've been in Cetra, so. You know. So Charlotte is heading home from work with 200 bucks in the bank. Unfortunately, I don't know if we'll have enough money to move her out into a, like a decent place. We might, because I would like to move out with her at some point. I'm um, not sure if I'm ready to just yet, but I definitely, you know, I definitely wanted to bring the family along to the city. There's no way I was going to leave her entire family behind and ruin everything in that way. So definitely had to bring the family along. But she is arriving home right now. So I think she's pretty tired. So we'll go ahead and send her to Betty by. Go ahead and send her to sleep. And... And everybody should be heading to bed right now, actually. Girl, come home, honey. What is wrong with you? You are out way too late. Um, and then we'll send Drew to sleep as well. And guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are, are, how you feel about the new town. How do you feel about moving forward? You know, what direction should we take Charlotte in? Do we want to go ahead and move her out? I don't know, you know. We'll definitely see. I just feel like, I felt like change was in order and change we now have. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next part of whatever I make. And there's my clock. My clock is saying goodbye as well. <laughs> Bye guys.